Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a form for your task so you can take a survey. I'm create a survey so others can take it. So uh, if you go to Google and then come up to this little waffle looking thing, you want to find where it says forms. We're going to come in here, we're going to create, uh, start a new form. So we're going to create one with the plus sign. And you want to title this form with your name. Once you write task number one, and then uh, you can write survey. So you are going to come up with uh, five or more multiple choice questions. They can be categorical data or they can be, sorry. <laughs> Uh, quantitative data. So um, you might have something like, what is your favorite color? And then it's on multiple choice to start. So you can start putting in options, red, orange, green, blue, purple, Uh, you could put other. Okay, but you do want to keep it so that it's multiple choice. Okay, then we're going to add another question. So this is an example of uh, categorical data. There's no numbers in the answer. But you can also have questions that include numbers in the answers, which is quantitative data. So the um, question might be, how many hours do you spend... Uh, playing video games a day. One might be zero. Option option might be one. And see, it starts giving you suggestions sometimes, so you can add all of these. Sure, why not? Okay, and you want to make these required. Okay, so you're going to keep doing this um, until you have five or more multiple choice questions. And then what you want to do, oh, I accidentally put the description there. Okay, so this is the title. If I click here, it's going to automatically take that and put the title there too. So um, you want to move this into a folder. So you want to make sure you're in your drive. And you should create a folder just for our class, Algebra 1. And then you can move it into that. So now it's organized in your drive. And if you go to Settings, uh, depending on who you want to do the survey, if you want to restrict it to just people in Hemet Unified, you can leave this checked. If you want to send it to people outside of Hemet Unified, you would uncheck it, right? And then you would click Save. That's up to you. Um, you're going to send it. So one option is via email. If you know somebody's name, you can type it in. Okay, maybe I'm going to send the survey to um, Candace Ballard. Okay, and I keep adding more and more names here. Another option is to click the link. Okay, and you can copy this link and then you could paste it on maybe social media if you have an account. Um, this would work really well if you have it where it's not restricted to Hemet Unified. But you are going to send it to 20 different people, and uh, you can send it. All right, you can include me, um, especially if you're not sure if your survey is exactly what you need, okay? So that is how you create it and send it, and you want to get that done this week. 